Hello everyone, welcome back to the video blog with me, Michelle Ryan. And this is day three of the video blog as things are coming close to the end, but things are just as busy, just as exciting and a bit mad still, but always good fun. So in this video blog, I'll be covering Little Bear, having a chat with the lads, following them from their live gig in St. Augustine's to a very special acoustic performance. And of course, chatting to them about their live performance in the glassworks. I caught up with Molly King to chat to her about banter and how that's been going, as well as shadowing a very special crew member. It's all coming up in this vlog. Hope you enjoy. Now, as you probably know, there's been tons of gigs happening all over Derry City as part of the Other Voices music trail, including this one, which happened on Saturday in St. Augustine's Church. This very special gig with local Derry band, Little Bear. Now, Little Bear received some very, very good news on Saturday night when they were told that they were going to get the chance to perform in the Glassworks and the live Other Voices show which was absolutely brilliant news for everybody. Yeah. Yesterday I got a chance to catch up with the guys on a bus to see how they were taking the news. Yes, um, it was like late last night, we had done the St. Augustine's oh. show and we, we were kind of celebrating because of the, uh, <laughs> the great response we had. So I was, I was eating a get pint of Guinness with a spoon. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> but um, no, uh, we... Uh, we were, it was late last night, so um, we were pretty excited. We were all together as well, more or less. And we, <laughs> I, we I think we scared us in a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Behind a cubicle, like high five each other. <laughs> really, really, really dodgy. <laughs> yeah, it's a little weird, I'm sure. <laughs> we reapplied the makeup and walked straight back. <laughs> <laughs> but try, try not to tell anyone was the. Uh, oh, that must have been hard. Yeah, yeah definitely. Because it's like, why are you so excited? Um, this paint this is really nice. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that all of Derry City are absolutely delighted for these guys. And judging by this performance, a treat was in store for everybody on Sunday night. I was trying to get tickets all week for this. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. trying. And I was like, I really want to see Beth Orton and daughter. And <laughs> it's just. <laughs> it's for time for them. So, did you get your tickets? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm still looking for one of you. Face was black. Her dress hung like a pain. I, th I think the Derry music scene is phenomenal. It's amazing. I mean, anywhere you go, it, it, even last night, um, going into the different bars and having loads of local music, you could, it just shows you the, um, the abundance of talent in this town. It's, it's amazing. And I, I wouldn't say competition. We don't. We aren't in competition. We're we're actually all friends. I think that's I mean, the best thing about it at the moment. Um, like one of the uh, best things about yesterday was. Uh, we were on the bit later, I used a, a lot of different tunes in the guitar and when you're playing it's kind of frustrating trying to tune down and up um, a lot um, but we were able to just kind of give one of our friends a shout and he threw us a second guitar so there's there's no competition, it's just camaraderie and everyone's just in it with each other and trying to help each other out. So. is a lesson of where not to sit when trying to conduct an interview that would be inside the front door which I learned when I was catching up with Molly King who's organising banter up here in Derry. Hello there. Hi. Oh! <laughs> Hello there. Hi lad. How are you? Unexpected. This is Vlogland. This is Vlogland. I've just walked into it. To the yeah. 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 Hi. <laughs> this is the Café Del Mondo is it? It is. Yeah, it is. Yes I'm here for my lunch. lunch. Very good, so we normally don't eat lunch in, in other voices. There is no time. <laughs> we see pictures of lunch. <laughs> we the time. We're shown pictures of lunch. It's the closest we get. And in the sort of a psychological relationship with the picture we believe we've eaten. <laughs> I'm terribly busy. I can't linger. <laughs> so I'm catching up with Molly King again. And this is where I finally got to try out my Peter Jackson uh, direction skills of making myself look about the size of a hobbit. 
Oh, you ruined it! It was running banter yeah. and has brought it up here to Derry and I'd like to catch up with you and see how is it going for you up here. Yeah, it's going really well. It's going really, really well. Um, we originally, when we were bringing up, well, I suppose it's because it's a new space. I've never been to Derry, I've never been to the North and it's totally new. Um, and neither me nor Jim, who uh, presents the who presents banter, uh, had ever seen the venue before. Like we saw pictures of it but hadn't been in there. Yeah. And it's um, it's in the Patch Cottage in the Crawford where we are now. Still here, yeah. yeah, and uh, it's just set to be like it's deceptively lo like large. If on the outside it looks tiny, the proportions are really small, and the door is really small. When you go in, it's seated as about seventy people. Oh wow! So it's as big as it's as big as any of the other branches that Jim would have done in Dublin. So mm -hmm. um, it's really exciting, and we're kind of waiting to see if we would fill it, which we did. Which is great. Uh, it's very informal, so people kind of come in and out. But um, I always I always find it kind of entertaining to see people who kind of stumbled in and they find. You always, I think you always leave banter thinking about something you never thought of or learning something you wouldn't have learned about previously. So, it's cool. so you're actually having little sessions in there as well. And yeah, so. we are. I mean, they're really, they're only like two songs long, but we kind of like it gives it a bit of a, it breaks it up a little bit, so you're not watching for like four hours of debates and talks. I think uh, it's nice to break it up with music. So we have kind of generally two songs each. So Jessica who came in and played, kind of to end it all off yesterday, and then we moved on to this guy called Ludovic Hunter. <laughs> Which is a great, which is a great name, Ludo to his friends, I'm sure. Um, and he writes for the Financial Times, but he writes about music, and he talked about um, K-pop and kind of the future of Asian pop music and Psy and Gangnam Style. Wow! And uh, he was really cool. He had his iPad and he played, um, he played loads of different excerpts of songs that had been uh, recorded in a different language. Like he played. Um, uh, he played I Wanna Hold Your Hand by the Beatles in German and stuff. It was very, it was very, very entertaining. The Macarena was played. It was, it was very, it was all too much. It was too much. All the hits. Yeah, all the hits. All the hits were great. Yeah, so it was really cool. Oh, hello. We're here at the Glassworks during a sound check, and this is the part of the blog where I'm going to do my little bit of stalking or shadowing a crew member. I'm going to be following one of the crew members, a very instrumental part of the Other Voices team, to see just what it is he does. He's here every day during the sound checks and the live shows, so I'm going to take you down to him. We're going to follow him for a little while and see just what Rory does. <laughs> Rory is the stage manager of Other Voices, who holds an awful lot of responsibility during the sound checks and the live shows. Harry Styles on the drums there. To sum Rory's job up very briefly, is to make sure that nothing goes wrong for the bands during the live show. Not a major job. Now I did shadow Rory for a good hour to try and catch some good action shots. Rory under pressure, sound checking, fixing the stage. But uh, must have got him at a quiet hour. A lot of, a lot of drinking coffee. Now this is during the sound check of the brilliant Beth Orton and Sam Amadon. Hi, how are you? Good. This is Janine Guy, the floor manager. Nice to meet you all. Three minutes to go. Have a quick two, make sure you're comfortable. I'll have done a line check already. Oh, great. And once I'm happy, the stage is okay, I hand you over to Janine. Janine is the floor manager who works a lot with Rory during the live shows, making sure everything goes smoothly. Rory just does everything. Absolutely everything. Absolutely everything. Can you pay you to say that now? No. <laughs> I have been involved since the second year. So, um, and I've done every year bar one okay. when I was trapped in America. Ah, oh, you're living in LA? I live right? in LA now. For how yeah. long have you been living there for? Uh, two years. Oh wow. And I go. don't, it's, uh, it's great, I love yeah. it. And um, I don't do any live work except for this gig. It's mm. the only, I'm a studio guy and it's the only live work I do because I love it. Excellent. I love the people and I love the show. And somebody who's worked very closely with Rory for years now is Chloe, the sound engineer. This is my fourth of the voices all together. So, um, and one of those years he wasn't there. Oh. And that was definitely the best year. Oh. He's impossible to work with. He doesn't understand any of the areas he's involved with, music or sound or people in general. I, I really don't understand how he keeps getting the gig. Mm. So we just finished sound checking Beth Orton and Sam Amadon and we're setting up for a little bear now. We're a little bit ahead of schedule oh. and... Uh, Does that happen often? Mm, sometimes. Mm -hmm. it, it can't go too far ahead because they're needed elsewhere. But sometimes we get a little break and sometimes we lose time. Cool. We've got these half hour buffers in between. So it's How all long good. does it take to set up? <coughs> it depends on the band. We usually our, allow half an hour beforehand and the sound checks run between 45 minutes and an hour and a half. Depending on the complexity. And I've lost my voice right oh when we go to talk. Sorry. I'm beginning to see the diva. We get a little, just a little more of my chest. <laughs> no. So let me just smear the Vaseline on the Yeah, yeah, there. yeah. You need a lot of Vaseline to make it worth watching. <laughs> the most complex setup we've ever had. 
probably bands like the National, um, some of the bigger mm -hmm. international touring acts, you know, probably the biggest. We've, um, it's a funny thing that sometimes, like, the National was one of the most complicated setups, but because they're so at such a level of production and they do it so well, it actually goes very well. And like Clockwork, they have good crew, they've got a, a, a system. Sometimes a smaller band, a newer band that aren't quite as used to mm -hmm. doing what we do, yeah. um, can be harder. You can spend longer messing around with less gear and trying mm -hmm. to get them happy because they don't really know they're not used to doing it whereas yeah. the big guys get very slick and the they just have to of, um, Beth Worden there was in and out yeah and like no yeah. messing around no no just, it's just experience you know yeah. they've done it a thousand times and uh, and good performers if the musicians are good it all comes together very quickly yeah. and luckily and we always get to work with good musicians